the final part of the tutorial. So, first let's hide our collision box here and then click on the hammer. And at the bottom here, we're going to move this to 0, X, Y, and Z axis. And then we're going to unhide our collision and do the same for that. This has to be done when importing into UDK. We have to readjust our collision here quickly to match again to our hammer. So let's just move this around until it's engulfing our whole hammer again. With that done, now what we want to do is drag and select all of it. Go up to the top here, go to export, but the little button, and then export selected. Let's save this to desktop for now, and we'll call it Hammer Mesh. And we want to make sure this is the FBX format, which is at the top. Click save. And in these settings, if you expand the geometry tab, keep smoothing groups on and untick everything out. Make sure animations untick, that the camera is unticked, lights unticked, and embedded media untick as well. And then if we go down to the bottom and click OK, we get this little message. Just click OK and ignore it. Okay, if we minimize this and now move over to Photoshop with our texture maps open, as you can see, we got a speck in the diffuse here. So we're gonna click on our diffuse, go up to File, Save As, go to our desktop, make sure it's a TGA, call it Thrall's Hammer Diffuse, 24 bit pixels, click OK. Now we're gonna click on our spec, go to File, Save As, Desktop again, make sure it's TGA again. Thrall's hammer underscore s this time save 24 bit save now we're going to go over our desktop and we're going to go to my computer c drive udk udk install udk game content and now we're going to right click and create a new folder in here and we're going to call this folder hammer scene all one word go into here and now we're going to create another folder called Meshes. And then another folder and call it Textures. We're going to move our FBX into Meshes from the desktop and our two textures into the texture folder. And now we're going to load up UDK. We want to open up the content browser as you can see here. You, you get to it by clicking this button up here. And now we're going to click the import button at the bottom. We're going to navigate to our hammer scene folder, go into meshes and double click hammer mesh. We're going to at the top here, we're going to rename this to hammer scene. We're going to group it in the folder meshes and we're going to keep this the name the same here. We're going to keep all these settings here default. We're going to click OK. As you can see, it's created this little folder down here now. So we're going to right click in it on the empty space and click import, navigate to our texture folder and click both the textures, bring them in and we're going to put the grouping into this as textures and click OK and then same again, click OK. You can see that's created another folder. We're going to right click on our diffuse here and go down to create new material. And in here, we're going to change the group into materials. Click OK. Now we're going to double click this. And this will load up this box. Holding control and dragging that, we can move it around. We're going to plug this into the diffuse. And now we're going to go back to the content browser, go to our textures, select our spec map, go back over to our material and holding T and left click in in the canvas, pastes it here and we're going to plug this into our specular and then we're going to tick this button at the top here now that's done, we can close that go to our materials folder, right click the material we just created copy full name to clipboard, then go to our meshes folder double click our hammer and in LOD info if we expand that and expand zero at the bottom you should see material here. We're going to control V and paste the name of our material into here. 
Then we're going to close this, right click on the hammer scene and click save. And then we're going to click save. And now we'll wait for this. We can, we're going to close this just to see if it works. So we'll close this, close UDK, completely quit out and then reopen the editor. Okay, once UDK is open in the content browser again, if we expand UDK game, content, and you should see our new package here, hammer, but there's nothing in it. This can happen sometimes, so the way to fix it, if you right click on the hammer file, and then click fully load. And now if you give it some time, it should load up everything. There we go, everything's loaded up. If we expand this, we can see everything. So we're gonna go to our meshes folder, double click our hammer, and just show you everything working. So we've got our hammer here inside UDK. If we go up to the top here and select UV channel zero, and then click UVs on button on the left of that, there's our original UVs laid out. And now if we go to UV channel one, there's our light map channel UVs laid out, so that worked fine. Let's turn this off and now if we go to the third button show collision we can see our custom collision that we put in here so as you can see everything's working everything we've done is fine concludes our tutorial hope it helped you improve